So today I thought we'd do a review on something that I actually meant to do a review on last year. Silent Hill 2. Now, Silent Hill 2 was released in 2001 and tells the tale of James Sutherland, who, as he's grieving the death of his wife, receives a letter from her, from the town, writing from the town of Silent Hill. So, in order to find out who exactly sent this letter, since, you know, his wife is, like, dead and shit, he travels to this town. As he's exploring the town of Silent Hill, however, a dark secret is uncovered about him as he's exploring. A secret he would have rather kept under wraps. A secret that has been tormenting his conscience for a very long time. Now, I'll be honest, Despite my love for the Silent Hill series, I have not played a lot of them. I've played this one. Uh, I forget which one was on the 360. Um, Book of Memories. Um, the one on PS Vita. I think that was Book on Book. Of, the one on PS Vita was kind of sh shit. This game, however knows how to rely on atmosphere like there's moments where like it tricks you into thinking that there's some kind of danger present in the room but really it's nothing like for example you have this ra little radio with you that automatically tunes to, turns itself on and tunes to static whenever there's a monster nearby well at one point in the game, you're going down this long corridor, right? And all of a sudden, your radio starts going off. And you think, oh my gosh, someone's going to try to attack me. Someone's going to jump out, and jump out and try to kill me and shit. What do I do? Oh my god, what the fuck? What's going to happen? Well, you get there, and there are these bars, right? And there's Pyramid Head standing on the other side of those bars, staring at you like this. And it is terrifying because he's just literally just standing there like um it's it's almost like he's been watch standing watching you feels almost like he's been watching you for quite some time. Like almost like he's been watching you for a while, like almost like he's seen you before, you know? One thing I will say about this game is that the controls do get take a bit to get used to because you move in whatever direction you're facing. Like, if you move forward and you're facing, let's say you're facing this way, you don't go like this, like, automatically go forward like how you would in a video game. You would go forward in the direction you're facing. And that does take a bit to get used to. I also do like the cinematography in this game. I don't know why, but the camera angles that they go with definitely do add to the horror of the game. I don't know if it's because of the way that the light and the dark bounce out and with each other, or if it's just filmed, just shown at a menacing angle. But I do think that it gives the game a more ominous feel. And the game is also pretty depressing at times. Not only for the obvious fact that he's um, dealing with the fact that his wife is dead, but also because there's so much more James wants to keep bottled up, as I said. And it's really depressing because you get to see just how much it's been gnawing away at him. But yeah, the, I'm going to give Silent Hill 2 an A+. Plus. It is a pretty damn eerie game. Like, I'm left just with this chilling feeling as I am playing it. And pausing the menu doesn't help either. Because if you're in like a really creepy situation or just like a like un, like an unnerving like, you know, setting or whatever. Pausing you to the, and going to the menu won't save you from the haunt whatever haunting imagery is 
there, it just says the word pause, but it stays on the screen that you're at. But yeah, that was my review of Silent Hill 2. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and sub for more content.